so welcome again everyone now in this video we are going to learn how to draw the image that is visible on your screen right now so before proceeding to AutoCAD let's uh, first take a look how we are going to draw this so if uh, you are seeing uh, this kind of image always start from a corner or from the center of a specific circle if possible so right now we have uh, this particular circular arrangement and this one so we can start from any one now if you will pay closer attention you will see that uh, this side left side is almost similar to the right side so we are going to use mirror command that's uh, quite obvious the next thing that we need to understand is uh, for drawing these circle we can use offset command we can use circle command as well now in order to uh, draw this particular circle now this is not intersecting with any of them this is just touching that means we are going to use tangent options in circle now in this one basically uh, there is uh, I would say an object a rectangle with fillet on all four sides so we can uh, draw it using rectangle command as well and we can proceed uh, later on now in this diagram specifically you can start from uh, the corner of this rectangle as well okay so we will try to uh, draw it or you can uh, draw it using this particular drawing as well now let's proceed to the AutoCAD screen and uh, take a screenshot in order to uh, practice this drawing and then try to draw it side by side as I'm doing it on AutoCAD so we are going to uh, start from uh, the center of the circle on the left side okay so we are provided with diameter of uh, both of the circles so select center and diameter now you can take any specific point so sp suppose that I have taken this point now what's the diameter diameter for the outer circle is 5.6 the center now the diameter for inner circle center will remain the same diameter for inner circle is 2.8 so these two circle uh, we have drawn the next thing that we need to do is uh, basically we need to uh, drop a perpendicular in order to find out the location so click on line and for simplicity basically uh, click on ortho mode and draw a line of uh, length 8 as described in the diagram and then in this side uh, you you will draw a line of uh, 12 units and again 8 units now on this 8 unit basically you will see that uh, the other circle arrangement will fall now uh, alongside this uh, this particular drawing what we need to do we will create an offset of uh, distance <coughs> 6 to find out the center okay so click on offset now specify an offset distance of 6 click on this line and you will see that uh, a line is drawn just at the center now we uh, need to find out another uh, line or another side basically uh, just take a look we will create an offset of distance 2 for this particular line avoid now this is the point from where your rectangle uh, basically center of your rectangle will fall now in order to find out the corner of the rectangle what we can do we can again use the offset command now what is the distance for this particular uh, line just create an offset of distance 1.5 for this particular point and you will see that we, we will have to insert a rectangle basically this will be the corner point of the rectangle now select rectangle command here and we will select a fillet okay select a fillet now what's the radius fillet radius in this case is 1 press enter now we will specify the first corner point click here now we have dimensions so what we need to do uh, basically we can uh, provide this width just take a look in the dynamic input simply write 3 and then press tab now for this particular height this height should be 7 units and then press enter so basically we have drawn the rectangle now everything else we do not need so we can remove it now in uh, this diagram you can see that we do not we have not created any kind of uh, fillet separately 
we did it just with the help of uh, fillet command which is given in the rectangle itself so it has saved a lot of time okay so uh, we need another line at a distance of uh, 2.5 from here okay so what we are going to do we will uh, create an offset of distance 2.5 from this line on this side okay so this is the uh, line that we need and everything else we can remove so click on trim then remove these lines remove this corner this corner and this option as well now what we need to do we will have to create a fillet so click on fillet specify a fillet radius of one unit then select the object like this then we need to specify the upper fillet as well now what's the radius for the upper one upper one uh, radius is 2 so click on fillet specify a fillet radius of 2 press enter select the first object and then the second object so just take a look we are done with this particular portion now we can remove uh, the non required portion from uh, here okay or we can use trim command and we will uh, be basically uh, we will be able to create a mirror image so click on mirror command select the object that we want to mirror now what do we want to mirror these are the things that we want to create mirror image of press enter now mirror line it will be passing through this one we do not want to erase the source object so click no so just take a look our diagram is mostly done other than one command that is tangent tangent and radius so we have trimmed the uh, trimmed the non required portion so click close okay now select on circle and uh, click on tan tan and radius now what is the radius for uh, the upper arrangement it's 12 okay so uh, we need to specify the tangent so in order to specify the tangent make sure this sign is visible to you if this particular sign uh, circle uh, with a line on it if it is not visible you will go to this O snap and you will turn it on from here so tangent should should be selected okay so we need to specify a tangent on this on this now in order to specify the radius basically do one thing just click below and specify a radius of 12 units and press enter now just take a look this particular uh, image is taking shape now what what do we need to do we will simply trim the portion that we do not need and our diagram is complete now we'll place dimensions so select radius first then provide these dimensions Now this radius you can specify like this I think all of the radius are done the next thing that we need to do is we need to provide linear dimensions so provide a dimension like this another one like this after that starting from this particular point to this point okay and by mistake i have not selected the exact point so press escape click on linear this point and the center point now it's proper so click here now we will shift all of these dimensions to a different layer as soon as we are done place these dimensions like this then what else do we need we need distance between this point and uh, this point as well place it like this uh, is there any other dimension remaining I hope all of the dimensions are available 3 7 radius is also given now just shift these dimensions so that they are not causing any uh, problems Okay, so wait, uh, let's select this, then try to move it somewhere else. Ok, 
okay radius is written like this let's move it a little bit click on this one stretch it a little bit now I in order to shift all of these dimensions to a new layer select the dimensions then right click and select similar now we are going to create a new layer here now this dimension layer that is available this is of a previous drawing so it will create confusion now I'm going to create a new layer named as dimensions new layer new layer and then I'll change its color to uh, red and click OK okay so just take a look a layer is created here okay so in order to shift all of these uh, dimensions to a different layer select all the similar dimensions and then shift them to dimensions layer and your drawing is complete so uh, that's all for today thank you everyone have a nice day and in case of any doubt just feel free to leave a comment